the book of superstitious stuff, weird happenings, wacky rites, frightening fears, mysterious myths, and other bizarre beliefs, is a book that shows that superstitions on various things are often the opposites of each other, and these superstitions can be used to curse people. Um, superstitions of actions, of objects, of times and places, of processes, um, a lot of them we don't know where they come from. Some of them preserve information that can be useful to us. One of the reasons why they're called superstitions is we sometimes just have no clue where it's from. Um, in Arabic, we have the word gypt, right? And the word gypt refers to superstitions as something that we're not, you know, not supposed to take part in. It's just things being passed on that are being used against us somehow. And sometimes these things are things that will give power to various spiritual entities. And, you know, belief in them. Uh, around the world, which is not quite as mentioned, just sort of a Europe thing, the Thares, the Davas, the Suras, fire beings, whatever you want to call them, they're, they'll sometimes get people not to use certain things. Uh, sometimes it's a family thing. They won't use a certain stone, a certain type of tree, a certain piece of land. Like, well, if a piece of part of your property has to be, you know, not used for you, that's like quite something that they've turned towards you, um, which kind of differs from what is generally called religion, but it is a type of religion, super, uh, superstition. Um, it's a type of OCD for a lot of people. Um, you can use the meaning of various things. You can have experience of various things, but it's not the same as just letting some whatever's been passed around to uh, restrict you not even knowing any real spiritual or psychological authority for this sort of stuff happening. Um, so, it's okay to use what's there sometimes, and, but question. Question why we're doing this. What in the world is this? Um, why we're not doing this? 